Our front seven, I feel like we have the tools to do it. We just have to execute. And that's being a gap sound defense like we're taught to be. Uh, this grind is just going to continue to go. Uh, this is the first game, and we're definitely going to take it in the Victory I choose. Ain't no turning back because I paid my dues. I tighten up my laces when I tie my shoes. Born to win, I refuse to lose. Everybody loves a winner. You know, Kyle Willingham has done a great job with those guys. He's had them in bowl games for nine straight years. And anytime you have that kind of stability in the program, you know, you got your work cut out for you. So um, we know it's going to be a tough challenge for us, but I think our kids are excited about it. Our coaches are excited about it because for us, um, this is that first chance for us to see exactly where we are as a football team. Let me explain what I think. Practice makes perfect. So when working, I don't relax. I practice a lot. Therefore, I'm perfect, and that's a fact. Been through some hard times while the burden was on my back. It was rough, but I was determined, so I adapt. Getting what I'm deserving. Holler back. Game over. You lost like a person without a mat. Everybody loves a winner. I know we, we, we have a lot more talent this year. We have a lot more depth this year. So that's going to help us in the sense that um, if you're in the field, we know you've earned it in practice being on the field. Now, how we compete once we get on there, that's what this game is for. So let's go see. That's what we talked about this morning is, is seeing what our kids have going into this football game and seeing how they compete. You never want to go into a game saying, okay, we're going to get a good beat. Let's just go up here and lay down and take the money and come home and put it in the budget. I want to go get the money and come home with the victory. So, you know, for us, I mean, I don't know a coach that's worth any, you know, worth a grain of salt if he's going to go and just say, we can't win, we have no chance of winning, let's just go up there and fake it and come home. We're preparing, we started preparing earlier, we're going up there trying to win the football game. Don't follow rules, I let the rules follow me. I'm a focused man on the loose, and a move out the cage. An ambitious and vicious champion with a rage. What's the difference between a champion and a challenger? A champion already conquered his caliber. You trying to become a champion became. I got more wins than a hurricane. Everybody loves a winner. We have to plug every gap. We can't let him get any running room or any wiggle room. Or that man is gonna, he's going to get loose. And that's not what we want. Uh, being that we have a fantastic up front and uh, a pretty solid middle core, I feel like we can do that. We just got to focus and get everything aligned right and execute. Everybody loves a winner. That's why I eat finer foods, complete wiser moves. Well, it's definitely going to be good to actually want to hit somebody else and not worry about the consequences in practice. So it's definitely going to be one of those things. Um, I feel like you guys are just going to have to watch and see. January to December, finish what you start and you could be a contender. Watch the man in the mirror, look and 